Well, how you all doing, folks? I'm Stately, and this is City Skylines. I'm going to start a brand new series right here, right now. I already have a couple of hundred hours in City Skylines, but we're starting with a fresh city here, and I'm using some new mods, um, like the Anarchy mods and the Traffic mods and things like that, to allow me to be more precise in putting the city together. I've also chosen this map, and I've unlocked all of the tiles on it. I've also unlocked the basic roads and things, not everything, but enough to get me started without having to, you know, spend half an hour making one one lane roads. Let's go ahead and get started here. Now, as you can see, I've taken out some of the freeways here to give me a little more freedom of building, but we're going to start we're going to start on this island here. So let's go ahead and put down an intersection. We'll talk a little bit more about how I'm doing this and what the goals of this series are as I progress through the series. But for now, let's see, what do we got here? A basic four-lane road, a four-lane road with a median. Okay. Right about here, no. No, it needs to be higher, I guess. Something like that. Oh, come on, play nice. <laughs> okay, I guess that'll work. Then we'll do some on-ramps. And off-ramps, obviously. Always with the slopes. That's kind of sloppy, isn't it? Let's go ahead and try to straighten this out just a little. Really, guys? Really? Why you gotta be like this? I guess that'll do for now. We'll work on it some more later. Let's get back to our four-lane road here and back to ground level right about there I think I'm not sure how I feel about that bridge being there how's that look looks a little silly doesn't it let's run with it for now I don't want to get too hung up on the details right this second Especially since this is just an access road. Like I said, we're going to start building over here. So I just kind of want to get a nice road out there. And a nice flowing curve should do the trick. I'm going to raise this a little bit so that we get a nice clean bridge. Oh, and now I'm not getting a bridge. Go figure. Game's a little stubborn sometimes. It never entirely does what you think is intuitive. Okay, so that's a road heading into the city. And this is kind of going to be our main street for now, I suppose. Let's go ahead and run it through the island right about there. And this is raised. That's not what we're looking for. That bulldozer, man. That bulldozer. Okay. So let's try this again. Page down. Get down to ground level. And... Yeah, that's more like it. That's what I'm talking about. So eventually this will connect to the freeway over here. But we're not going to do that just yet. Now, the basics... Day zero, get some housing going, get some power supplies going. Let's go ahead and plop down, I guess we'll do a coal plant for starters. My goal here is to kind of create a, a working city. We're obviously not just in pure creative mode here or anything, but also an attractive one. So I'm going for a degree of realism where possible. 
Okay, we've got our power supply going here. We're going to need some power lines. I'm using a plugin here that um, uses these rural utility lines, so that's nice when you're, you know, inside of the town. But for now, since this is kind of a main transfer thing, we're going to I'm going to go ahead and just run this all the way over. To, let's say, here. And that should get us powered up. So let's start with a residential area. And we're going to go ahead and use some basic roads, nothing special. Maybe not the smallest road available. What do we got here? A basic road with a turning lane seems about right. And let's see, our first residential neighborhood, maybe we'll put it down by the water side here so that we can have some nice waterfront housing to start off with. Something like that should do for now. Let's go ahead and zone this, light residential, and we can use the marque tool here to get this all sorted out. Right about there, and then we'll fill in these like so. Next step is gonna be water supply. We need a water intake. Now we have a an eco water outlet cost 4000 and this cost 2500 I think we'll use the eco water outlets from the start to be honest um, and just for the sake of preventing pollution let's go ahead and put these maybe here we're gonna need power for that um, that guy right there and we're gonna have to hook it up to the water supply as well so let's go ahead and Get the water supply sorted for starters. And then for the outflow, um, we'll put it down. Well, this does limit the amount of pollution, but it doesn't make there be no pollution. Um, we'll put it down here kind of out of the way of everything for now. Although I'm sure it'll end up getting in the way soon enough. And this will be a good opportunity to use these rural utility lines to um, connect this stuff up. So we'll have a simple little power line there. And then we'll run another set of rural lines down here. Maybe not in a completely straight line because that's just going to look weird. Like that. And we'll do the same thing up here. I guess we're going to have to run something that can cross over roads. Now there is a mod that I thought about using. Really guys? Eh, eh, me no likey. There we go. And then from there we'll go back to the rural ones. I don't know, maybe the rural ones can cross roads. Maybe I just had the placement wrong, but this should do for now. We'll make it prettier as we go. Okay. So, our residents have... water and power and oh look they are already filling up the areas I made for them so that's great um, and what we'll do is this is going to be kind of a high-end rural neighborhood um, let's go ahead and extend this outwards a little bit we'll go in a loop maybe
Then we'll come back out here. And that should give us a good amount of residential area. We'll, we'll pop some parks in here and stuff too, obviously. Because that's what people like. Now, we also need to think about parking. I'm using some mods that change the way parking and traffic work a little bit. And um, one of the things that we'll have to consider is that none of these places have actual parking. So we're going to have to consider parking spots so that people can get around. Um, I'm not seeing any traffic at all right now. <laughs> I stand corrected. Here they come. which means that these people can't park now let's look at our traffic manager here and see what the parking signs say why can i not select the road Why can I not select the road? Let's find out. Select parking and no. No, we can't select the road. Why can we not select the road? What about other stuff? Can we like mess with traffic lights? No, oh, that just kind of puts the traffic lights in there and takes them out again. As you can see, I'm using an American traffic light plugin. These are um, available in the workshop and they're nice. I like them. But what I want to do here is make sure that there is some parking available for the residents here and there don't seem to be any parking spots for these guys now oh here we go okay so ah the road type i selected does not allow for parking i think maybe we need to change the road then let's let's take a look here let's go with a standard two-lane road instead and we'll um we'll upgrade these guys should be fine it's kind of a wide road for what it is sorry guys didn't mean to demolish your house but progress sometimes you just can't stand in the way of progress there we go all right now let's get back to our parking thing here um, these roads also don't feature parking everything's going great so far I need to find some roads that do allow for parking. Is that just a two lane road? Is that what I need to be doing here? Let's take a look before I do the entire thing again. Hello? Yes, okay, they can park on this road. <laughs> Good, let's get back to upgrading this road because like I said, there's no parking at the buildings and I kind of wish I could set that up on a per zone basis or something, but I can't. So, you know. Okay. Let's see. All right. Roads. Upgrade. Um, technically, I'm downgrading, obviously, because I'm just going for a standard two-lane road here. But that's kind of the way this works. And that's fine. We're okay with that. Okay, all right. We got our first residential neighborhood set up. At some point, I'll probably have some roads crossing through here. But for now, this is this is kind of how we want it. And let's get started on a bit of commercial zoning here. This um, this area here should do nicely for that. Um, I don't want to go all the way back here because I'm probably going to end up wanting roads down here. So we'll. Um, We'll do this. I'm going to leave this area open and then here comes the interesting stuff. We're going to go ahead and set up 
a parking lot. For all of these nice business services. Hmm. Hmm. Can I do this? Space already occupied. Well, then let's move it over here. That's uh, kind of a small parking spot. Let's go out a little bit further here. Yeah, I don't know if I like the way that's going to look. I'm thinking we'll go ahead and... What do you mean space already occupied? I think we need to activate move it for this. No. I mean, I'm supposed to be able to put parking spots on the parking spots, right? I'm reasonably sure of that. And I'm not quite sure why that isn't working. <coughs> um, let's see, do I need to enable prop and tree anarchy? That's um, control P, right? This is odd. Okay, I'm going to see what I can work out about this, and then I'll get back to you guys. Okay, let's try this again. Um, I think I have it sorted out now. We're going to go ahead and put in the parking lot here. And then we'll grab this 3x2. And we just kind of have to place it and then move it. We'll activate move it. selection and well, there we go that looks much better what do you think got an actual parking lot here let's go ahead and move this back a little bit like so make sure it's nice and straight like that good now we're gonna add I think some some handicap parking I didn't leave enough room for the handicap parking so let's go back to move it select this guy we'll move it to the back here like that that looks good and now we can go ahead and put in our handicap bays we'll put one here I'm being very finicky here. Actually, there's no use because I need to grab it and move it over to where it needs to be. Just like that. And then we'll put down another one on the other side. And maybe we'll rotate this one. Hello. Rotate. Rotate. Currently in Sacramento, it's 79 and sunny. That's great, Google. Thank you. Not sure what just happened there. Not what I was trying to do, though. Huh. Okay, selecting stuff is a little finicky now. Let's go ahead and try to... Okay. Let's do it the hard way. We'll start moving again and we'll move it. Can we do that? That would be nice. Here, we'll just start over. Wait, seriously? Yes! Yes, I want to destroy it. I want to destroy it because it's bad. All right, uh, point selection. I think, yeah, I'm selecting it wrong is what the problem is. And that's the right rotation. And we'll put it down right here. Okay, and that's our parking lot. <clears throat> and it actually seems to be working. I do have some buildings here that need water. We can go ahead and fix that. 
and we ended up dezoning a few things. So let's go ahead and zone this all up properly. Get all up in yo zone yo. Okay, so it looks like we're doing okay. We're losing a lot of money. We might have to take out a loan. Let's look at our finances here and see what's going on. Our expenses are insane is what's going on. That's all right. We'll take out a loan and we'll just keep going. Excellent. Excellent Smithers. All right. And now it is time for some industry. And obviously we don't want the industry to be too close to anything else because ew. Um, what we can do is run a road. I'm thinking standard two lane road, this guy right here, from here, out this way a little bit. Not quite like that. Something like that. And that'll be our industrial area. <clears throat> Go ahead and make sure it has water. Like so. And let's go ahead and zone it. Use the arcade tool here and we'll just go like, like that. And like that. And again, we're going to need some parking here. Although, if I'm not mistaken, street side parking is allowed on this road. No, did I manage to put down yet another road that has no street side parking? It would appear that I have. All right, well, time for another parking lot. What about a parking garage? 15, I can't afford a parking garage. Um, here, we'll take this. This will be a largish parking spot. And we don't want to go out too far. Oh, straight line. Nope. That's way too short for what it is. Maybe we'll just go with this and we'll put another one a little bit farther down here and back to the parking bays four by two should fit just about oh look at that that's beautiful i'm wondering if we're gonna get Cars parked on the sidewalks here, but I think we're okay. And we'll put down another one over here. I hope this is enough parking. But there's only one way to find out. Oh, and these guys don't have electricity. I'm told they like electricity, so... Go ahead and pick up our rural power lines and run them from here along the back to here. I'm not too worried about the parking spot not having electricity right this second. We'll take care of that later. And that's probably about as well, close as we want to get to everything else here. So, okay, we're making good progress. We have some abandonment issues, some crime issues. Well, we don't have any city services yet, so that makes sense. Let's go ahead and start with a small local police station. 
and I kind of want to keep this empty in case we want to extend that road outwards, but I'd like to have the police station somewhere close to an intersection. This should do just fine. Let's get um, let's get our first park set up. These guys are all going to want recreation, <clears throat> and I can't blame them. Everybody wants to recreate. And instead of putting it along the road, let's put down a small, simple two-lane road from right about here to our desired park location, which will be right about here and I might need to put a little bit of straight road in there but let's see if it fits all right what do we got here a small park a small park sounds good to me excellent good that will make people happy let's take another look at the parking situation here um, okay, this allows for street side parking. Hopefully that'll be enough, but if it's not, we'll go ahead and add some dedicated parking bays at some point. This place needs access to electricity, so let's go ahead and give them some juice. I don't think it needs water. We'll see. And there's a lot more demand for housing, so let's get painting. I'm gonna leave this area here empty. Um, but we can definitely allocate this, and then on this side, we'll just use the Marquee to one fill it in. Like this. Now, we can do some things with smaller houses if we want by creating smaller zones. I'm not going to worry about that just yet. Okay, this side road, if we connect it up on this side, at some point we'll be able to put our schools there and things. Let's um, let's get our water supply sorted. Okay, that's everything. We have a little bit of commercial demand because we don't have a whole lot of commercial going on here. This is our main street so far. Most of this is vanilla. I have added some some growable buildings just for variety because you know if you've played this before you've seen that there's a lot of a lot of repetition you'll occasionally get buildings right next to each other that are identical and we've already done that here although they have different billboards so that's nice and <laughs> these guys don't have employees uh, I'm always having that trouble with industry. There's never enough employees, um, but we're we're increasing the, the residential count here significantly. So hopefully that'll sort itself out soon enough. Still hemorrhaging money. I think what we could do is maybe put together a. slightly more dense residential area. I don't have high density residential yet. And it's going to be a while because I do. Um, I have 257 out of 5,500 necessary residents for that. And what we have here is filling in, um, but not, not very quickly, to be honest. And I like doing this occasionally, just adding a little bit of retail in the residential areas just so that people have a nice place to shop without having to go downtown especially since you know I don't really have a downtown yet let's go ahead and fill these in and we'll keep going on this side a little more commerce for your shopping pleasure and we'll put in another little parking structure here I'm keeping it pretty conservative so far with all of the parking and stuff. I don't want to don't want to go overboard with this. Just keep it nice and straightforward for now. For 
rotate it so and now I can't select it anymore so I guess that's where it is we're just gonna take what we've got and this that's nothing doing but we'll definitely fill this area in and we'll fill this area out it would appear that the employment situation has resolved itself there's no more demand for industry just yet though I think it's probably time to build a school and let's see so we have a couple of different designs here we have your standard grade school this is the one that comes with the these both actually come with the game um, let's take this one and right across from the park kids like going to school across from parks right I think they do and while we're at it we will go ahead and expand this road somebody's gonna lose their house over this and I apologize if you happen to be the resident of this house okay we're gonna go ahead and dezone these little corners here but we can have we can have a tiny house on the corners there if we want and yes the park didn't need water the school does okay we got a school we got a tiny little residential area going our losses have decreased significantly that's nice I think what we'll do is we'll add a second row here maybe just kind of a tight loop around this with more basic residential so take the wibbly wobbly tool I think and the idea here is to kind of have the backyards abut each other don't want to get them too close together I don't want them to overlap although I guess they're overlapping now like that how's that look well, let's go ahead and zone it all for residential we'll start right about well hold on a sec oh I just unzoned some poor people's houses sorry guys here I'll rezone it it'll be okay it's everything's okay don't worry I didn't mean to dezone your houses sorry And then for the smaller areas, I don't really like regular shapes, and this gives us a good opportunity to have a bit of variety in our buildings. So, do something like this. I'm leaving this open in case I need to connect those two together at some point. I think that might end up being useful. But I also just like to let places breathe a little bit. You know, we don't need to fill it in too badly. All right, garbage collection, folks. It's time to take the trash out. Um, where is my landfill? <laughs> I'm kind of cheating a little bit here by putting all of this stuff way over here. <laughs> and for the garbage, I'm going to... It's obviously not cheating, cheating. It's perfectly fine within the context of what I'm doing, but we're going to go ahead and move this out of the way a little bit so that we can not have to worry about it too much. It's going to pollute, but it's not going to pollute anything spectacular. Crime rate at the coal power plant is high, folks. Repeat, the crime rate at the coal power plant is high. Okay, it's not perfect because they are going to have to drive a long way, but we don't have a whole lot of trash going on just yet, so I'm not, not too worried. Okay, our demand is met. Everything seems to be moving along swimmingly. So let's just take a look at how everything's going here. We have electricity, obviously. Our, we know what our education levels are going to look like. 
no traffic issues to concern ourselves with just yet. Pollution is what we expect it to be. No public transport. No land value to speak of either. It's pretty much what we expect. Everything is what it is. We don't have a whole lot of demand here, um, but our houses are starting to fill out a little bit. So I think we'll fast forward here for a few minutes and see how things go. Just watching demand increase, we are still hemorrhaging money, so I'm going to have to get more taxpayers on board here. But it's filling out, and that's really what we're looking for. Okay, we've got some water issues that we need to look at. This guy is just outside the covered zone. Let's just make sure that everything's sorted here. Demand's pretty flat across the board. No need to build anything new just yet. No garbage issues. Now we are going to want a graveyard sooner rather than later because that tends to tends to be an issue. Let's see what happened to our little commercial area here. I put in one tiny little commercial zone and we got what appears to be a deli. So that's perfect. Two workers operating normally. Everybody's happy. Good stuff. How's our school doing? 74 students. Oh, is population decreasing? No, I think we just had some students graduate. That's fine. No big deal. All right, commercial demand's going up a little bit. We already have some stuff popping up here, but I'm going to go ahead and just put in a few more commercial zones. We'll, um, commercial zones, he said. Put them there and there. And then as for the industry here, the parking lots are working. Although the way people get to them is perhaps a bit odd. I'm not, not going to lose any sleep over that, though. Uh, let's go a little bit closer here to the... the commercial zones. Pollution is obviously an issue, but commercial zones are less affected than residential zones, so I'm not too worried just yet. And we'll go ahead and connect these. I think a straight line should do just fine for that, although I'm not liking where it's snapping there. That's fine. room for houses here something there a little something there and there we can expand this and we can have like three tiny little houses here i like the little one by one houses they look cute and they kind of add a bit of variety so i'm hoping this whole area won't be too afflicted by traffic um it's a loop so there's plenty of Plenty of options for getting around for these guys. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of cars parked along the street. That's kind of intentional. Um, I think maybe a parking lot next to the school would be appropriate. Those are toll roads. Here we go, parking lot. I haven't really looked through this. These are all the parking bays that you can build and then these are the actual lots and you can build everything up to <laughs> this parking garage has an entertainment value of 125 this is like the world's most enjoyable parking garage the met performs on the weekends let's go ahead and do something a little bit more robust than we've done so far we'll turn the freaking snapping off is what we'll do How do we turn the snapping off? There we go. Turn the angle off, that's what we want. Because I want all of the snapping off. I have decided that all of the snapping must die. 
and I want this to be nice and parallel. I'm not feeling it. Um, let's go over here instead, and we'll do this. Now, this is an access road. This should allow us to attach a parking lot to it. Um, and we'll use the larger one here. We'll set it up something like I'm not sure I like that. Um, let's see if we can let's see if we can sort this out with move it. I don't know that we can. Surfaces, nodes, and segments. I'm connecting segment and oh, that's beautiful. Look how nice this works. Oh, I think I hit the wrong button there. That's okay. We'll um, go back and do this again. Hello? May we please? Mother, may I? I think maybe. There we go. All right. So we wanted to rotate this, get a kind of parallel. Just like that. And then we're going to select this and these nodes. And we're going to move these over a bit and just try to get everything nice and straight. Just like that. And then, beautiful, look at that. That's exactly the parking lot I was hoping for. That looks like a school parking lot. I might move the school over a little bit. We can do that now. And that pleases me rather a lot. This is all stuff that's not really... Ooh, yikes. Look at this. I'm going to have to shuffle this around just a little bit more. Try to get it lined up better. Doesn't seem to want to line up here. I'm not sure what the deal is with that. Oh, I see. It doesn't want to line up because reasons. Well, let's see what we can do here. So that seems to be more or less straight, and then we'll try to rotate it to some more sane angle. Yeah. Eh, eh, I'm not sure how I feel about it now. It looks a little odd. Let's let's just go ahead and let's just go ahead and start over here. Cause honestly, if you're not feeling it, just let it go, man. Let it go. Let it go. Slope too steep. Why well, you gotta be like that? It doesn't seem too steep. Does this look too steep to you guys? That doesn't look too steep to me. Boom! Gone! Okay, we'll just take another stab at it. Maybe we put the parking lot entryway here. Snapping's off. Why are you doing this to me? Why you do this to me? It's still very small. So let's see if we can use move it to to sort this. That's pretty reasonable. And then we can kind of slide this down. See, this is kind of what I'm going for here. Then we'll stretch it. I like to stretch it, stretch it. I like to stretch it, stretch it. There we go. That's a decent looking school parking lot. We got a little bit of clipping there. I think we'll solve that 
in some original fashion. And by original fashion, I mean put a tree in front of it and hope nobody notices. Let's see. All right. 8x2 is probably not going to fit, huh? No, we're going to need a couple of 4x2s and um, some 3x2s. So this is weird. It's odd to me that I have to, you know, do this and then move it. Single selection. So let's start over here. Now, this is not something that I know how to solve. If I go page up, it doesn't really seem to solve this, but it does make the cars float. So I'm going to go ahead and replace that. Um, hit the end button, and then we can move it to where we want it to be. And again, I don't have an easy solution for the, whoop, not you, you. Hello? I wonder, oh, come on. Let me select the parking lot. All right, I think we need to use the tile selection here. And then we'll um, unselect nodes and segments. And I think it's probably surfaces. Why is it still selecting the node? It's not supposed to be selecting the node. Decals, props, and buildings. Let's see what we end up with here. Okay, there it is. Oh, I copy and pasted one too many there, I think. So let's go ahead and bulldoze that. How many did I make? Hold on, there's, a, there's an undo feature. I am in favor of undo features. Line this up nicely. See, these, the stripes at the bottom are just missing. The parking spots are still there. So that's not a huge deal, but it is, it's irksome. I'm irked by this. So I'm going to have to look into how to... Um, how to sort that out. But for now, let's put some handicap spots in here, right over here, and I'll put another one down on the other side. I feel like I feel like there must be an easier way to place these things. Oops. Am I doing this right? I think so. No, this one. Come on, people. Straighten it out. There we go. Okay, that's our school parking lot. That's pretty good. People can also use it for the park. Meanwhile, we're breaking even. While I was working on that parking lot, our population total has increased to 700 and our money supply to 38,000. Got some employee shortages here. Nothing to worry about. Some more commercial demand. Um, but I still want to kind of straighten this out a little bit and hopefully get everything to merge together nicely. I'm hoping this won't cause any trouble with um, with road accessibility or anything. Okay, that looks pretty good. We have this thing here. Um, and the best way to deal with a thing, in my experience, is to put a boulder on top of it. So let's find a nice rock. Should we have a like a hinge? Okay, that's a big rock. I don't think we need a rock quite that big to hide a flaw quite that small. Castle wall runes. I found some good stuff here. I didn't know these were here. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna put that right there. No, I'm not. That would be bad. Come on, give me something 
modest. Here, you can sort by size. Nope, still too big. All right, let's just put a couple trees in front of it then. Ta-da! Problem solved. Might as well neaten it up a little bit. Add a few more trees around here. Pretty the place up. Okay, so we got a school. We got a parking lot for the school. It's being used. Oh, jeez. So this. I don't know what the deal is with this. We'll have to do something about that. It would appear... I think what's happening here is that the lots are horizontal and this is kind of on a slope so there might not be a whole lot we can do about that right this second stuff to look into at some point i guess okay all right um plenty of residential demand we've kind of filled this out as much as it's going to get filled out so let's go ahead and do a bit more residential. Now, I realize that what's happening here is I'm going to end up putting a huge traffic strain on this road. Um, and I do expect to actually upgrade this road at some point, which means that a lot of the commerce here might have to go away. Uh, that's not a huge deal, though. If this is going to be our industrial area, then maybe we should set up a second residential zone here. And we'll do a slightly different style. I don't want to get too repetitive. We'll do a four-lane road. Didn't we determine the four-lane roads don't have parking? I think maybe we'll have to go with a... I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll do a, a four-lane main road. Let's get our, our snapping turned back on. We'll go out to maybe here. And at some point, this will probably end up being high density because, you know, that's just kind of how it's set up. Straightforward, should fill up nicely, like that. Make sure we have a water supply. We still have plenty of water availability. That's not an issue. Just about like that should do nicely. And, you know, because this is all residential, we're going to connect these guys together. And we'll do a little bit of dezoning here so that we can worry about this later. I'm not quite sure what happened over here. I think the terrain changed a little bit as a result of what I was doing. So that caused the buildings to disappear. That happens. It's not a big deal. Like that. Like that. And let's um, let's look at the recreation here. Um, just that one park. Oh, that's leisure. That's not recreation. Where is the park thingamajigger? I can't find the park majigger. Crime majigger. Noise majigger. Car majigger. Wind a jigger, level a jigger. That's not too interesting. Health a ma jigger. <coughs> Everything's a ma jigger. Uh, yeah, there's <laughs> there's not a whole lot of recreation going on anywhere. So um, let's go ahead and take just something modest and um, put it in here. That cheers everybody up a little bit. Should help with our land value. How's our school doing? Starting to fill up. We're getting close to the point where it's time for a second school. That's going along nicely. Our police station is right here. It's fine. No big, no big issues. 
Um, it would appear, however, that we need some more parking. Hey, check it out. I got an In-N-Out Burger. That's why we need more parking. Because In-N-Out Burgers, man. I'm telling you. And what about this? It's a shame that's such a tiny little strip. I feel like I should be able to do something with it. But we definitely need more parking here. So let's go ahead and put in another parking lot. Um... Maybe a slightly larger one. Come on, where are my parking lots? Highway or the my way? Yeah, <laughs> road connections. They're road connections for some reason. Should we do something similar to what we did over here and have like a, a drive-in parking lot? If we do, we should have it facing out this way. Like so. Then we'll take, is this too wide? Can I just put like a big old, I can. Well, that's interesting. Eh, you know, like that. Hello? Oh, right, those are not the bays. I'm still kind of getting the hang of this, so bear with me. And I think if we take two of these, that'll fit perfectly. The parking stuff adds an entirely new aspect to the game, really, and I kind of like it. It's, um, it's just a bit more depth. And it might give me some more granularity with traffic management, which I'm also in favor of. But we'll see how it goes. It hasn't really all played out yet, but it will. And we have three rows here. Just need to get everything nice and straight. It'd be nice if you could snap these things to each other or something. And then we can copy it and put the other one down here. Just like that. Look at that. That's a beautiful little parking lot. It's a beautiful big parking lot. And we got some commercial demand here. I'm sure these will fill out nicely. Another thing that this allows you to do that I'm definitely interested in is um, strip malls. I mentioned at the beginning of the video I'm going for a bit of a an American look and nothing quite as American as strip malls right I don't know if people are gonna want to park here it's kind of out of the way but this lot's really busy so I'm sure they'll be more than okay with traveling a little farther to get um, to get to a useful parking spot here that's filling in nicely so I think on that note we're gonna go ahead and end the first episode let's go on and Yeah, we'll um, call it a day. We'll let the cinematic camera run for a minute or two so that we can see what we've accomplished. And I feel like if I'm going to run the cinematic camera, I need to turn on the day and night cycle and the weather cycle. So let's go ahead and turn the dynamic weather on and turn the day and night cycle on. And then we'll go um, go to the cinematic camera and spend a minute or two looking around just to end out the stream. Thank you all for watching and tune in next time. I've been Stately and this has been City Skylines.